Hey everybody, Grip and Rip live today. Show me the money. That's our title today. You know, just a little commercial break here. If you haven't got my latest book, Get Off the Couch, literally, get off the couch, get on the computer, log in to notyourfatherscharity.com and get my new book today. And it's it, the cost is free. Free is my favorite number. So free of charge to you, my gift to you, Get Off the Couch joins thousands of people that have already downloaded this book and hundreds of people that have already sent me emails and comments. So it looks like the rooms are filling up. Thanks everybody for joining. Make sure you share this stream because we're gonna talk about money today. Show me the money. Nobody wants to talk about money. Donald Trump talks a lot about money. Wayne Elsie talks a lot about money, just a lot less zeros and decimal points than he has. So uh, in my book, nobody believed this. Nobody believed this and I actually got a job on Uber because I was frustrated and I was mad and I was angry at this guy that said, dude, can you give me some money? And I said, dude, I'll buy you something for dinner. And he said, yo, man, I don't want anything for dinner. I just want some money. So I thought about that. I said, are you working? You know, I asked him a question. He said, no, I can't get a job. So literally, I went on a 48-hour quest to figure out how hard it was to get a job. And me, myself, and I got hired by several different people in less than 48 hours. Three days later, I was driving Uber. Again, unemployed guy, got a car, got insurance, got a valid driver's license. You can get a job in a couple days on Uber. I made 21 bucks an hour. Now, it was kind of funny because I picked people up in my Lexus and my Rolex watch and people were like, wow, man, Uber's really lucrative. I said, yes, ma'am, it is. Yes, ma'am, it is lucrative. And she goes, when I go home, I'm going to get me a job on Uber. And I can drive a Lexus in a, in a, wear a Rolex too. I said, yes, ma'am, you can. Go get them. So anyhow, if you need a job and you can't get a job, get off the couch or get off your donkey or get off your whatever you want to say and get a job. Go log into Uber today, apply for a job and get a job. Get off the couch. It's the first thing you have to do. Second thing, what about senior care? What about pet sitting? What about child care? You know, none of that's beneath us. You know, there's people all around, there's websites out there. And in my book in chapter five, we detail the exact websites to go to, to kind of look into how to do senior care, how to do pet care, and how to do child care, and where to go and log in. These websites work for you. They work for you, you register, you pass the test, and you can go to work right away. One of the other things, this is totally off guard from what I want to say, is sell some of your crap. Go on Craigslist, go on eBay. You got junk sitting in your house that your great grandmother Batula gave you from 30 years ago. Get rid of it. All it's doing is collecting dust. Turn that into money. Open up an eBay account, open up a Craigslist account. Be careful, by the way and sell your crap. You probably have more junk in your house, just like I have more junk in my house than you could ever imagine. Cleanse, go through your closets, go through your drawers, clean out your junk and sell some of that stuff and turn it into money right now. There's also something else really cool, and I talk about this in a lot of detail in chapter five, is kitchen surfing. Let's say you're a good cook, and let's say you, you know, like making, you know, X, Y, and Z. You can actually cook for other people on these websites. They, they, they hire you, you put your menu in there, and you can earn incremental money by cooking for other folks. Why not? You gotta cook every day to eat. Why not cook some more beef stroganoff and, and sell it to somebody that's looking for something in your lo local area? Why not do something? Hot dogs, hamburgers, you know, me, I can cook you breakfast. Maybe I should sign up on the breakfast thing and cook people breakfast. But my point is, if you have the energy, if you have the desire, if you're not a lazy ass and you want to get off the couch and do something, you can make money today. There are more help wanted signs out all around the country when I travel than ever before. The key is number one, number two, number three, get off the couch. Get my book, Not Your Father's Charity, Dot com get off the couch free to charge for you free download if you want a paper copy no problem you can get a paper copy go to amazon and put in get off the couch or my name and we actually have it for sale for cost three dollars and 59 cents this book will be delivered to you in two days on amazon prime 
I should charge Amazon Prime for promoting their company right now. But Amazon Prime, you can get this book for $3.59. I tell you, the phone lines are lit up. It looks like we have a couple questions. My, my trusty assistant, Ben, here is saying he's got a question for me. Ben, what's the question today? Uh, this first question comes in from New Jersey. In your book, you mentioned having a personal theme song. Why do you have one? You know, I think a personal theme, I mean, Chris Christie has a personal theme song. He's one of, he's one of your people up there. Great guy. Uh, and people actually, when I go to New Jersey, I did some work a few years ago with Cory Booker and, and people thought I was Chris Christie, which, you know, I thought that was okay, but I thought I was better looking than he was, but that, that's beside the point. But theme song, you know, uh, Peter Gabriel, you know, I'm on my way, I'm making a big time. If I get down the dumps, if I get discouraged, if I get PO'd, I either get in my car or I put my headphones on here in the office and I jam out. You know, everybody should have a theme song. You know, there's a, there's a song out there by Stick, Show Me The Way. Literally, if you are like struggling with direction, no matter what faith you are, no matter what you believe in, you need direction from somebody. And I personally get a lot of direction and satisfaction by listening to that song, Show Me The Way. And all it says is, show me the way. Let me be quiet and show me the way. And then after I find the way, I crank it up and I rock and roll and I basically jam out. There's many people that go to lunch with me, you know, that come meet with me. I always take them out to lunch and, and most of the times I buy. But uh, they go out to lunch with me and they get in my car and the friggin' stereo is full of blast. They're like, Wayne, what's up? I said, dude, I had to get myself pumped up on my way to work this morning. So uh, definitely find a theme song. Pick something that resonates with you and pick something that makes you feel good. Other questions? This one comes in from Tracy in Miami. She wants to know, what if my friends and family don't support my goals or my dreams? How do I stay focused? All right, Tracy in Miami, South Beach, love it. Actually, I have an office in Miami uh, at times myself, so love it down there. Hey, uh, if they don't support your, is what you said, Y-O-U-R, that means you own those goals and you own the outcome of those goals. So I'm not saying don't really care about what they have to say, but you know what? Listen to them, think about what they have to say, and make the best decision for you. Y-O-U. You control you. You matter. You can do anything you want to put your mind to it, and don't let chatter or don't let the world get you down. So my advice to you is go back and, and, and think about the question you just asked me online. It's your your goals, your responsible for, you are in control of you. Any other questions? We got one more. It says, what challenges have you overcome to get where you are? Uh, we don't have that much time. <laughs> so uh, challenges every day, you know, it's kind of like, um, I'm going to answer this in a very broad stroke. I mean, people um, have challenges and frustrations every day. It could be medical. It could be personal, it could be business-wise, it could be critics, uh, it could be people that are jealous, whatever. But, but the, what I've done in my entire career is I've stayed focused on the goal. So you identify the goal, every day you work towards that goal, and basically you grip and rip to get to that goal. You don't let the junk around you. You don't let the distractions around you. You know, if you're doing a business deal and the business deal calls for X, Y, and Z, and all of a sudden they want to go a different direction, back out. Let it sit. Let it wait. 24 hours, good night's sleep, whatever. Wake up the next day and have a new perspective on things. So without getting into specifics, I would just tell you that all of us go through crap. All of us get kicked you know, where it hurts. All of us have distractions. All of us have cloudy days. But at the end of the day, you know the goal. You know what you're working towards because all you have is the sand that's left in your life. And this is where you start and this is where you end. When all this sand gets down here and your life is over, dude, it's like, what does sand taste like? What does sand smell like? What does sand look like? Because when it's all gone, what's your legacy going to be? So long answer to short question, the key is you keep going forward on what you know is right, you make it happen, and your critics are criticizing you because either they're jealous, or they're jealous, or they're jealous, or they're jealous, or they can't do it, or you're better looking than them, or you're smarter than them, or you're faster than them. Who cares? The more time you spend worrying about your critics, 
the less focused you are on worrying about this sin, which is your life. Any other questions? That's all I've got. Okay, good job, everybody. So get off the couch. Available now, free of charge to you. Free of charge. My favorite word is spelled F-R-E-E. -E, free of charge. My gift to you at notyourfatherscharity.com or go to Amazon. Download it, $3.59 at our cost, including freight from Amazon Prime. You have it in two days. Thanks very much. I'll see you next week for Grip and Rip again.